starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren McCoy. And I'm Meg Gatto. Ann Bro, the woman Mayor Cantrell claimed was stalking her, is now suing Cantrell, her chief of staff, the city, the NOPD, and several officers. Bro claims the group trampled on her civil rights by releasing private information, and she's now seeking $1 million in damages. Chris Joseph reports. The lawsuit claims the NOPD gave Bro's private information to Cantrell, who then used it in a petition for a restraining order. That restraining order was later tossed, but Bro's lawsuit means this fight isn't over. This summer, Ann Bro was in and out of court as a defendant in Mayor Latoya Cantrell's restraining order case against her. Cantrell's petition for a restraining order alleged Bro was stalking and harassing her. The mayor's petition included Bro's social security number, old ID photo, and expunged legal history. Bro denied any wrongdoing. A judge tossed the temporary restraining order, and now the mayor is the one facing allegations. All the mayor's woes have been brought on by herself. Bro's attorney, Justin Schmidt, filed a lawsuit against Cantrell. Her chief of staff, Clifton Davis, the NOPD, Officer Leslie Guzman, Officer Ryan St. Martin, and Officer Victor Gant. He alleges the NOPD gave Cantrell Bro's private information, specifically identifying St. Martin as the one who accessed her photo. Schmidt alleges the petition was retaliation against his client, violated federal law, and left Bro's civil rights, quote, trampled. This was something that was bothering her. The fact that I think it bothered her that that um, someone could be accused um, falsely with just completely fabricated facts and brought to this point. And so I think this is a statement. Bro did take two photos from her balcony of Cantrell and now retired NOPD security officer Jeffrey Vappi dining while NOPD records show Vappi was on the clock. The lawsuit claims Schmidt has receipts showing the duo bought two mimosas and a bottle of wine. The photos were later featured in a Lee Zurich investigation. Vappi has since been indicted for fraud and lying to the FBI about his alleged romantic relationship with Cantrell. He is not named in the lawsuit. Look, public is going to hold the mayor and any other public official or elected official accountable for their actions and that nobody is above the law and that if the mayor you know, is above board and doing everything that she's supposed to be doing and acting all right. There's no reason why a picture taken should cause any problems. The NOPD declined to comment and Cantrell's press team did not respond to an interview request for her. Schmidt says it remains unclear how she obtained Bro's information. He's not sure if she'll testify. I would expect that her defense attorney, who's Eddie Castain, that represented her, in the uh, protective order petition back in May would probably advise her not to answer any questions on, under oath at this point in time. We asked Castang about Bro's information in June. How did she obtain Bro's personal information, social security number, etc.? Oh, no, I have, that, we didn't even get to any of that. I have no idea. You, you don't know? No, 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 no. no. The case is over. We're not, we don't have to litigate it anymore. It's over. Cantrell's case may be over. But Bro's case has just begun. Now, the NOPD did hire a law firm to investigate Vappi, Guzman, Gant, and St. Martin for their alleged roles in providing Bro's information. Of course, the results of that remains to be seen. Lauren?